Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this commentary. Yes. <coughs> my name is Cloud Jack and this will be the first of hopefully many commentaries to come on my YouTube channel. Uh, <coughs> today we will be looking at Kaipi versus Team Empire. And this is for the Gosu League. Uh, yes, Gosu League for the latest one. This match took place on the 8th of December. This is the first of uh, best of two series I believe. And <coughs> Uh, yes, so we all know who's Team Empire, right? Team Empire, famous for, well, in my opinion, famous for having Scandal. <laughs> That's just me, because I'm seriously a big fan of Scandal. Well, not a big fan of Scandal per se, more of like, I know him, more know of him, okay? So, there's that. <laughs> I believe this TA band is a respect band to Scandal. And this Bat Rider band, yeah, Bat Rider is a very strong hero. Uh, he's been getting some resurgence lately. I have absolutely no idea why. But Bat Rider is, in of itself, a very strong hero. He is one of the only heroes in the game who can kill someone at level 2, right? Right, so we have the Wisp band coming up from Kai B. Kai P. Kai P. Right. Wisp band coming up from Kai P. Uh, Wisp, you all know of Wisp's uh, abilities. There's the Wisp Tiny combo, the Wisp Sven combo, the Wisp Chaos Knight combo. And for the more pub stomping style, the Wisp Hudge combo. Uh, Magnus gets banned out. Yes, Magnus is a very strong off laner. Uh, many people are only starting to realize it now, but Magnus is. Seriously, a very strong off laner, right? Because his shockwave is a 1k range, right? That's insane. You can just spam that shit out, have like, bot just bottle crow, right? You can just go in, get a, get hit a few times, skewer out of, skewer back towards your tower. That's your escape mechanism right there. And it does have a 30 second cooldown, but, you know, it's still good. It's still one assured escape. And if you're lucky, you can skew someone back and kill that silly sword, right? So, okay, first pick, Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter, of course, normally played in off lane. Some people play it mid. Five seconds um, one way you never want to play Bounty Hunter would be on the easy lane, uh, because there'll be a waste of an easy lane. Uh, Bounty Hunter is a very strong off laner because of his wind walk. And even then, he doesn't really need that much EXP uh, to begin with. All he needs to do is safely get to level 6, and run around, start hunting, ganking, track kills, your gold will just shoot up like crazy. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Team Empire, first two picks, Darkseer and Undying. Okay, Darkseer is... Darkseer never really fell out of favour. Ever since the international, even before then, Darkseer has never really fell out of favor because of his strong offlaning ability. Um, in order, right? Or at least this is, uh, in my opinion, the best offlanings. <coughs> boss. <coughs> the best offlaners are Windrunner, Darkseer, Magnus, and Bounty Hunter. These four. You. Put them in the off lane. Most of the time, you are guaranteed a safe off lane. Okay, Darkseer being at the top of the list because of his ability to get EXP and even harass melee carries right from a distance, from a safe distance. And surge, surge is just too good, man. Surge is just too good. Uh, Undying, Undying is man. I don't know how to talk about Undying. Undying is just generally a good hero because decay, right? Decay, four seconds, boom. Four strength loss from an AOE, but that is not his main fight. That is not his strongest suit. His strongest suit is, of course, Tombstone. This little thing right here. Now, what this does is this will create a Tombstone, right, which would spawn zombies near it, and the zombies hit for a little bit amount of for a small amount of damage, and they slow. Now they stack, right? You can have like four zombies on your ass, and your movement speed will be slow by like a million percent. I am slightly exaggerating, of course. Now, uh, Kaibi's picks Sven and Jakiro. Uh, Sven, recently we've been seeing a lot more of Sven. Um, why? I have no idea. In my opinion, Sven has always been just a giant melee creep. Right? He walks around, he throws on stun, two seconds, whoopee, then what? Right click. Right click, okay, he's got God Strength, which is like a triple damage rune at level 
3. But the point still stands. He has absolutely almost nothing. Okay. Normally you would combo him with Darkseer. Normally you would combo him with Magnus. Um, but in this case, those two options are not available to him. <coughs> to Team Kaipi. So, I would really want to see what they plan to do with him. And Jakiro. Jakiro has been coming into the into the top tier ever since the uh, le recent buff to his Icy Path. Icy Path? Ice Path. Ice Path. Wonderful. Ice Path. Now it stuns anyone who walks into it. So you have to avoid it like the plague when it's up. right? But it still has that cast time. It still has the casting animation. Uh, which makes it not the most reliable stun in the world. But then again, I guess that's what Storm Bolt is for. <coughs> okay, Team Umpire picks Klinks. Uh, another good offlaner. But in this case, I think Klinks will be taking the easy lane. Uh, but there is always the possibility that Darkseer might take mid, but I seriously doubt it. <coughs> okay, so Klinks may take mid, or he's gonna go easy lane and farm it up. Klinks is of course very very strong. Uh, when you put him with him, when you give him an orchid, right, then you give him straight searing arrows, death pack to get extra damage and extra health, and suddenly your supports are all dead, right? <coughs> so that's Klinks. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the bands. Venomancer, Queen of Pain, and Chin. Venomancer band probably don't want to deal with that. Uh, fifty percent slow that lasts for a million years. And the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain is uh, a very mobile hero. It goes all over the damn map. Chills off all your heroes. Comes out that suddenly appears at the twenty minutes with an Arganims and a Divine. I am yeah. <coughs> so. Very strong hero. These are all. What am I saying? All all heroes are strong in their own right. <coughs> <coughs> all heroes are strong in their own right. Just pointing out some of their uh, more well known features, right? Queen of Pain's ability to do massive amounts of damage, uh, but magical damage. So there's that. Shen. I guess they want to keep their jungle safe. They want to make sure that they don't get a good jungler. And in that same vein, Team Empire banned out Lone Druid, which is uh, Sila Bella, uh, which is also a very strong jungler. One of the best, because he is a carry as well as a jungler. Um, uh, <clears throat> most of, mostly well known because of, uh, what's that? Coming out of the jungle 20 minutes in with like a, with like a rel, with like a, you have a relic, a radiance. Okay, 20 minutes is quite slow. Coming out 14 minute radiance, you know, that's not good. And then we see Tem Team Empire banning out Enchantress, another jungler ban. Which means they really want their jungler uh, to be safe, you know? Okay, and number f and Kaipi bans out Rubik. This means that they're going for some big team fight shenanigans. Either that or they just want to ban out Rubik. Rubik has been nerfed. Right, Rubik has been nerfed quite a lot. Not okay, not really. His movement speed got knocked down by ten and his fate ball damage got reduced by twenty. But still ten seconds remaining. Not exactly favoring Rubik, but his ability to be awesome still remains. His ability to be awesome still remains. Okay, Kaipi picks up Invoker. Invoker, oh, as everyone knows and as everyone has seen, Dendi's WTF Invoker training. Invoker is just it's just a good all-rounded hero. Um, only drawbacks to Invoker is that he requires a lot, a lot of levels. Uh, that's why he goes mid, but more levels than a normal mid. Like for example, a normal mid player, he would start ganking at level six, level seven. Invoker can only start being majorly useful level nine, level ten, level eleven. <coughs> They'll give him a few more levels into whatever spell he chooses to, well, invoke. Right. And now we're waiting for Team Empire to come up with the last, I mean, the fourth pick. There will be a Gyrocopter. Now, let's talk about Gyrocopter, shall we? Gyrocopter is one of those carries that you have to give him enough farm to be 
effective. I'm not not just normal carries, like every carry, you have to you have to give them farm in order for them to be effective. Gyrocopter needs a certain a certain item build to be effective, and his main ability to be painful as hell comes out from his flat cannon. Now, <coughs> <coughs> now flat cannon. Essentially, whatever he hits, whatever every time he attacks, all units in a one thousand radius will get hit as well for six hits, which is seriously insane in team fights, right? Imagine you put a divine on this guy, boom, six hits. That's like three hundred damage on top of whatever else he has. Oh man, that's insane, in my opinion at least. So, Enigma. Enigma. Made famous by uh, several players. DDC, the Chinese player. PGG, the latest one that goes PGG! And that'll be my impression of Toby. And, uh, and of course, my favorite, Bucking Mad. In his uh, Dream Hack Summer performance, when he was still playing for MTW, in those games against Navi, man, Cinderin, the captain of MTW then and the captain of MTW now, he would first pick Enigma because the entire game right rested on those black holes, and oh man, those were good shoulders to be resting on. <coughs> So let's talk about these lanes, right? Bane. No, never mind. Uh, Bane, Bane Elemental, as it was known in Warcraft 3 Dota. Uh, Bane, famously known for his ability to disable three heroes at once, much like Shadow Shaman. Uh, man, he's a very strong hero. Bane is, Bane is insane. The only drawback to Bane is that he needs a lot of mana. An insane amount of mana. I mean, just look at these spells. 125 level 1, 95, that's a lot, to be honest, that's a lot, let me just, nope, nope, shit, okay, here we go, alright, now let me introduce the players on Kaipi, we've got Pylai Dai playing Enigma, he will be jungling, we've got RMN on the Invoker, he will be taking mid, Bounty Hunter Babar, they pulled him some restoratives, these were not his, this was donated by his uh, teammates because, you know, um, poor man shield level 1 is a very important item to have, 60% chance to block damage, that is slightly more than your star shield, if I can say so myself. <coughs> <coughs> Wall Eater, <coughs> Wall Eater on Sven, he has that star shield, he will be farming. That is what I like to see. Farming Sven, not a ganking Sven. Of course, that is a role that most Svens have been fulfilling. But still. And we have Zar. Zar playing Jakiro. Uh, he will be playing support, obviously. And we have a tri lane bot. Okay, Jar farming Gyrocopter. Uh, this will be made into a ring of Aquila, I believe. And yes, it is pronounced Aquila, not Aquila. I know. Misleading. I know. Calm down. We've got. Oh, I'm supposed to be introducing then players on Team Empire. All right, on Team Empire, Funnick, uh, Darkseer will be soloing this. Uh, this will be the off lane, quote unquote. Uh, Scandal, their resident mid player, hold region well, uh, as well for the extra damage, the extra that one wraith ban. Uh, SS on Bane, first skill in uh, Nightmare. Uh, let's just look at that mana cost, 165. Man, I do not like that. I do not like that. That's, that's I'm just putting it out there. He's got insane mana cost, okay? And uh Sokshka. Sokshka playing the farming gyrocopter on the bot lane. No D warding goes on. Are they making a go? First skill is rocket barrage. They could go, they're going! Oh block nice blocks by Goblet, don't intro them a uh, First blood very easy, but the stun Sven Stormbolt goes off and goblet by Wall Eater onto Goblet. Cops a lot of tower damage, but he'll just walk right out. Tangles, decay, keeping it up. Easy. Easy. 
yes, Gyrocopter picks up that kill, then it will be very good. That is very good. <laughs> normally, uh, a carry picking up kills, yeah, that's normally a good thing. Uh, bad luck for Jahiro getting caught out like that. Not really caught out, but that was very wonderful play by our by our Goblet by walking around to block him so the rocket barrage could deal the full brunt. Hey, my jungling. <coughs> um, three clarities, one set of tangles. Now, normally when I jungle, right, I would just spam clarities like like it's crazy. I don't get like I'll go into the jungle with like four. Five, six clarities, and we see funny creep skipping here. This will hurt. This will hurt Babar much more than it would hurt um, Funic, because Funic has Ion Shell, right? Lol. Anyway, Funic has Ion Shell. Funic has like six plus two armor. Okay. Okay, this guy's got seven armor, but still, he is paper as balls. Okay. He is extremely paper, and he's got he's been pulled some regeneration as well. Uh, he's got two sets of tangles. That's good. So he'll just take this creep wave symbol, no problem. Now let's just look at the wards very quickly. Uh, a sentry ward here, observer ward here. Oh, heard a rocket. I heard a rocket. Goes off or oh, absolutely. Mm. But yeah, it was homing homing missile. Let's just be clear about that. Bane has a double damage rune, shall be going into the jungle for a bit. He will not die to these things, obviously, because he's got tangles and restoratives, he's fine. He'll take a little bit of damage, but once again, that's fine. A very good deny there, going off on by Goblack. Let me just look at that, man. He's just gonna spam his decay, keeps Ven's damage and health down. <coughs> oh, it looks like another kill is going off. No? Okay. I heard Nightmare. Excuse me. Level one nightmare does only last for four seconds. But normally, if uh, the enemy, he, your team is close enough, you sh that should be enough to try and get a kill. Over on the top lane, Funic seems to be very low on the mana, but he has his soul ring, so that is fine. He's just gonna pop his soul ring, ion shell, done and done. And he's going to zero two two by zero three two by five, I believe. Oh, in Vocal Lands, a kill on Undying. Did he come to gank? Or was that a Sunstrike? Let's just check. Yes, it was a Sunstrike indeed. It was a Sunstrike. Uh, <clears throat> with between Stormhammer and Ice Path, it's very easy to land a Sunstrike. If you do everything right, you will have like a. Uh, what's that? You have a 3 second. <clears throat> like, if everything is chained correctly, you have 3 seconds to. Oh, just gonna walk off. Icy Path misses completely, but will go on Bane. <laughs> very low, Sven, very low. One last hit will clean him up. <coughs> that was very simple. Wow, that was delightful. And that was a very easy uh, nightmare into homing missile with Rocket Barrage on. Just pounds him dead. Rocket Barrage is very, very strong. Every te one second goes. You get for its total duration, gives you 30 rockets, right? One rocket deals 15 damage, right? This is at level 2. That is a lot, I might add. <coughs> Alright, let's look over on this mid lane. Scandal has quite a bit of farm, 23 to 10. Oh, Invoker sees up. Oh, this will be very easy kill. One last hit will kill him stone dead. I do not understand. Okay, he didn't surge because there's the casting animation. He raise his hands up, then pew, nah, that would have assured his destruction. If he ran straight, he might have lived. Clearly, he didn't. Anyway, so two kills now to RMN, twenty to twenty-one to two, as opposed to uh, scandals twenty-seven to ten. Clearly, we know who's winning this mid lane. But Invoker has been getting these kills, sun strikes, or oh, rocket barrage goes off. Um, a nightmare goes off on Bane, but uh, it changes the. Oh my gosh! Just look at that. All he needs to do is attack, and suddenly everyone dies. <laughs> suddenly everyone dies. Gyrocopter. He's now four zero one. Screw last hitting. I last hit hero, son. Like oh man, that is an impressive number. That is an impressive number. Of course, these guys have been doing their job very strong. Uh, brain sap, of course, being the 
uh, choice. Now I think they want to go on. Oh, there we go. We're going on. Oh my gosh. I was. I don't know why the sun strength didn't proc. But anyway, Invoker got the last hit because of the sun strike. I uh, used ended a dominating streak that would mean a lot of gold. Eight hundred. That is quite a lot. A brutal Grievel flying out. Magic one belonging to Zar. That would be the Jakiro. <coughs> and I do have a tendency to call them by their uh, Warcraft three names. And I know. Jakiro Twin Headed Dragon, you yeah. know. I don't know, it reminds me of the legacy, right? I mean Warcraft 3 was the game that I learned to play. And while I'm reminiscing Invoker picks off another kill on Bane. With a little bit of assist from Bounty Hunter over there. Ah, okay. Looks like Kaipi might be turning this around slowly. Let's just do a very quick farm check. Um, scandal, 43, a 10, and this once again against Invoker, who went for Exhort first, ensuring he's got a shitload of damage. It's a lot of damage. Oh crap, Ducks here. Damn, I am. I apologize for missing that, but just look at this tower, this tower will now get denied. Must know first. Now, every time a tower gets denied, denied. right, you deny your the enemy team about one thousand gold, okay, nine hundred gold. Because <sighs> you kill a tower, it's two hundred gold to everyone, approximately. You deny a tower, that's like one hundred gold to everyone. And that's a lot of gold. That's half. You deny them fifty percent of the amount of gold. Yeah, okay, I probably not 900. Anyway, uh, Nightmare into homing missile into Gyrocopter's ultimate, but will he see a black hole? No, Enigma dies too fast for a black hole, but Sunstrike does land on Gyrocopter, but it does not matter. Everyone is dead. This is a four man gank. Okay, four man gank to kill off three people. I think. I think that was perfectly acceptable, yeah? Yeah, perfectly acceptable. And now they'll proceed to knock down on this tower. Ducks here, quite farmed. Tranquil, soul ring, headdress, going for the pipe of course. We'll be ensuring the next wave gets killed and this tower will fall very easily. Over on Scandal. Scandal has almost completed his second Oblivion staff. He's going for Orchid first. Orchid before Boots. Because you don't need them boots when you've got 44% extra movement speed, right there. Tower don't need boots. And then Darkseer gets last on the tower. tower Over on the top lane. Bounty Hunter trying to get some farm. 28 for 2. Couldn't exactly get farm against Darkseer. Once again, that is why he's one of the strongest, if not the strongest off laner in Dota. There we go. Do we... They can't go on Enigma, Enigma is too far back, he's enough time to see him run here, stun the piece of shit, and run away. Unless, unless, oh no, Enigma's too good. Just stun, just stun him and run. Just look at him taking so much damage just because from this Ion Shell. Then again, it is a level 4 Ion Shell, that is 90 damage. 90 damage a second. Approximately. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Alright, Dyer's top tower has fallen. Kiro will pick up that tower. Do not know why. I think they're trying to go on. Uh, they are. They are trying to go on Pilai Die. No, they're just trying to creep skip so they can kill this tower quickly. Oh, Nightmare goes off. Oh no, not Nightmare. Fiend script. Fiend script goes off on Invoker. Ends that dominating streak. Uh, but Darkseid. I think Darkseid tried to KS that, but nope. Anyway, uh, in this in this bounty hunter goes off. Oh nice, Ice Path goes on, uh, toss track kills, very simple, no must, no fuss. <laughs> Don't know why he soul ringed, but that killed him faster, anyway. Uh, homing missile does go off on Mountain Hunter, but he'll be fine, he's too far back for them to do any follow up. And this tower falls. Empire proving once again why they are one of the top tier teams. One of the top Euro European teams right now. Very strong stuff, very strong stuff. Invisibility. 
Homing missile. No. Yes, homing missile goes off on wall either. We just stand there and take it like a man, cause you know you can't kill him anyway. And now with bounty hunting, with bounty hunter, with bounty hunter coming along, they might try to go on Sokska. As bounty hunter spots out Sokska. Now remember, going one on one against a gyrocopter who has rocket barrage, who's got homing missile, might not be the best of ideas. But scandals. Oh, they had vision. Yes, Sentry Ward over here, they had vision, just not, not planted. Yes, they had vision, and that was poorly scouted out by Bounty Hunter. A wall leader just has to keep doing his job, just keep farming, hopefully you'll be able to get up some big items sooner or later. But this game, at this point, really looks very heavily at uh Oh, he's not dead. Anyway, um, Fiend Script goes off on Invoker. Homing missile, everything drops just to ensure this kill tombstone. Even I think they also want to push down this tower because, yeah, pushing down towers is good. Oh, they'll just knock down this tower very easily. Gyrocopter is just such a strong teamfight hero with flat cannon with call down, call down, so call down. Okay, whatever. It's just such a strong team fight, right? Team fight carry. People argue that Void is a stronger team fight carry. I don't know. Not really. <clears throat> Track goes off in Go Black. Can show Sentry Ward, D Wards. Simple. Now they know. They definitely know. And there's a ward here that has been D Warded. So they should go D Ward themselves very quickly. Undying, a little bit bare bones there, but that's fine. Undying does not need to get uh, pipe in this game. Normally, Undying would get pipe. Unless I've been playing in the wrong pool all my life. Uh, but because they have a Darkseer on their team who has got mech. Oh! He's got mech! Okay, Tombstone falls. Tombstone goes off. Oh, <coughs> beautiful 4 man vacuum. If we go 4 staffs back out. Uh. Solrit will pick up Jakiro. <coughs> and it suddenly becomes a 4v4. Huh. Oh. What flew out to him? No idea. But oh my gosh, that was. Oh man, that was fantastic. Nightmare. Sentry Ward planted. Fiend script vacuum back. One last hit. Destroyed. Oh man, that was a thing of beauty, that was a thing of beauty. And now suddenly, 14 minutes into the game, ladies and gentlemen, we are 14 minutes into the game, suddenly Kaipi only has one tower up, and Team Empire has got, like, four outer towers, right? And this is like the power of push fast, kill everything, in a sense. Not really push fast, more of kill everything. We've got Bane, such easy setup. Not going for Enfeeble because there's just a waste of mana. Right, we've got him going Nightmare into Fiend Script. Fiend Script is just so strong. And right now we're going for Roshan. Already down to half HP. Scandal just standing in the back, pointing and shooting. All these guys just uh, taking turns to tank it up a bit. I believe Dark's here. Very nice. Immortality! And Aegis does go on Dark on <coughs> Gyrocopter. He has gone for one level of homing missile because he's got enough setup to begin with. And just look at this. Okay, it's only like six hits, but that's fine. Just look at this cooldown, it's almost completely over. And he's fine, he can just tank it up. This camp should be stacked again, there we go. Fat cannon used again. Suddenly he's level 11. There's two points into his call down. There we go. And look, just look at this gold. This is insane. This is just. Ah, okay, so we've talked about bounty hunter track kills. Now he hasn't actually been getting a lot of them. Right, considering there have only been six kills from Kaipi, he hasn't exactly been doing a lot. Okay, three assists, fine, fair enough. But that's not a very big number. Okay. Last hits, Bane, very easy last hits, Bane, just 
brain sap suddenly dead. There's 225 uh, magical damage, I believe, and he does heal 300. So I say 225, factoring in a 25% uh, magical resistance. Yes, all heroes have a base 25% magic resistance right there, as you can see. This top tower taking a little bit of damage, makes it inconsequential, and now they're just trying to trying to push. It's not gonna work. Yeah, helicopter picks up a very what am I saying? Things picks up a very easy kill up on Jakiro. Jakiro being the uh, very the very paper little wanker. Will fall very easily. Middle tower is under here we go, the uphill push. There's nothing they can do about it. Is Invoker gonna come out with some million special shenanigans? No, Invoker has chosen for no points in the wax. Because, you know, don't need that EMP against uh, all these guys. Oh, that's, that was good. That was good. Macro Pyre going off one, one more last hit. That's good. But Wall Eater falls. Here comes, here comes Sokska. Big right clicks. Big. Big flat cannon right clicks, toss just to go off, cold snap falls on him. No, that was Melfice. No black Oh Black Hole catches two! And Pain walks back into it because he's a genius. Uh, Scandal will be falling very quickly. No, yes, no! He's just gonna walk out like a champion. Suddenly Gyrocopter is back. Sudden suddenly everyone is gonna die. Let's look at that. Sun Strike will hit absolutely nothing. Ice path flows. Nope. Not gonna do anything. And that okay, they call glyph, but black hole mm, mech. Okay, black hole caught a grand total of three because Bane walked back into it. Uh, Storm hammer goes off. Nice chain stun. Oh, very low, and there he goes. But he manages to drop his ultimate before he falls. Will they be able to make something happen? No, they will not. Scandal's very low. Scandal's very low. He walked back in. He dies. Track gold. Remember that track. And now that and Dirge, Dirge doing big damage, he uses his tombstone because tombstone is good, but he falls to the stun. Uh, he falls to the storm hammer anyway. Oh, big vacuum. Sucks at three heroes, but Bane will fall. No must, no fuss. Search, cold snap, forge spirits to deal even more damage. Tracks, fence, storm bolt, and, and sun strike just to ensure the kill. Suddenly. Suddenly Kaipi is back in it. Okay. From six to twelve to now twelve to nineteen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I love watching good Dota. Anyway. Suddenly he comes back. Did he buy back? No he didn't. Uh he comes back, but he can't defend this. Right, that's fine. Decay goes off. Just look at that, just look at that. So much damage. So much damage. Flat cannon. That cannon, one of the strongest carry spells in the game. He pop enough damage up on this guy, and suddenly everyone on your team is at half health. Oh man! <clears throat> and he is going for the manta for a little bit more survivability, I would assume, and just a tiny bit more damage. Oh, bounty hunter is stalking. Stun, ice path, cool breath. Oh, he's not dead. No toss. One last hit, and he killed, and he dies. <sighs> Simple, easy. BKB clings scandal going up for BKB right now. And Volker has a blink dagger. Cannot imagine for what. The ice path had absolutely nothing. Wonderful. Oh, sentry ward, nice. To de ward that sentry ward, and to keep an eye out for scandal. Let's look at these four spirits, just casually hitting that thing. Yeah, it doesn't even care. Their sentry ward was to look up a bounty hunter. Yes, bounty hunter is extremely irritating. <coughs> That's a common mistake most pubs make. Uh, they see Ricky, they don't buy wards. They see bounty hunter, they don't buy wards. They don't buy dust, they don't buy gem, they don't buy anything. <sighs> it's a little bit annoying. Anyway. We see a five-man uh, rotation up the top. Looks like trying to get a push on or defend against this push. 
Easy, easy, very easily killed. No muss, no fuss. Scandal is hanging back because he doesn't know merely uh, whether or not they planted a sentry here. Obviously, they didn't. But Scandal didn't know that now, did he? Anyway, this tower will fall. This tower has fallen. Bounty under trying to get some farm up at mid. I am twixt myself. Volker porting back as he should, sending his illusions to give a little bit more momentum at bot. And here we go, are they trying to take the uphill? Scandal gets caught on the icy path, dual breath, no, not enough damage. There's yeah, one tower hit, but that's fine, he has his ultimate up in 30 seconds. It's fine. It's fine. What is Bane going for? I think this builds into Shiva, and this is just for HP. No initiation of any kind yet. Melfice, oh, suddenly. Alright, Tombstone goes off, Storms, uh, Stormbolt goes off. Storm Bolt. Okay, Decay Icy Path catches SS. SS cops a bit of tower damage. Dark Midnight Pulse just to fend them off just a bit. Scandal uses his ultimate to get a bit more damage and health. It's now at 1.4. Uh, going the uphill? No, uphill, uphill too dangerous. Alright. Malphite goes off on uh, Dirge because he is the one copying tower damage. Sca Ice Park goes off on Scandal, Storm Bolt, everything falls. Scandal still alive! Scandal still alive! He BKB out! He BKB out! Oh man, that was some. That was some uh, spamming shit right there. But that was his 10 second BKB charge. That is valuable. It's very valuable. And that was the wall, they used their wall. Now they can't really take the uphill. I think they couldn't have forced the issue because Scandal was already so low. Right, a few more right clicks and we've brought him down. Uh, Savannah is building towards BKB. That is the uh, right choice, I would uh, believe. But you have to remember Fiend Script goes through BKB. And then on the flip side of that coin, you have to decide, right? Who do you fiend script? Right? Because Balniana has BKB. Chokiro no, Chokiro is nothing. Invoker Invoker will do a lot of spells, right? He will cast everything in his arsenal. That is ten spells. And he has a freaking gem. Right? Ghost Scepter? Ethro Blade? No. Blink up here. I to D Ward? and four stuff down to get out okay so then there's this BKB so there's two targets to BKB right and then you also have to look at Enigma it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a choice right to force him to split it's a choice not really to split to make him decide right <coughs> It's the same thing with that rider in his lasso, which also goes. Oh shit! Big damage coming off from wall leader. Does does big right clicks. Look at that double damage. Freaking god strength plus one two hundred and ninety nine. That is one damage away from a divine. Oh man, big damage. Gyro Illusions pincering them to do absolutely nothing. Melfice goes off, because why not? He has completed his Manta and those were his Manta Illusions. Delightful. Roshan is back. And they know this. They tried to kill him a bit. I believe they should go on Roshan. No. Maybe not. Maybe later. I believe Gyrocopter is. I believe this is building into a BKB as well. Because there are just. There are. There is just so much that goes through B. No, what am I saying? There's just so much magical damage coming out from uh, Kaipi, right? Uh, a BKB would not go amiss in this situation. Uh, invoke a Forge Spirit. <laughs> ah, gets eaten. That was, that, was, that was just wonderful. That was just wonderful. But now they know. Now they know that these guys are trying to rush. There's not much they can do about it now, is there? Rush is already down at half health. 
Mm. Oh, and one thing I forgot to talk about about Bane and Feeble now goes through BKB, or rather, you cannot purge or get rid of it. It's a uh, minus thirty damage, or minus one hundred and twenty damage, level four, which you cannot get rid of. Search forward and goes off on Invoker. They don't know that it's fake. Well, now they know it's fake, and they will continue pushing this lane. Simple. They want to finish the job, as it were. They want to take down this range Rex and not care about it anymore. At the same time, some split pushing action going off. Bounty Hunter pushing the pushing bot out a bit, giving it a bit of momentum, and illusion and forged spirits, but uh, there's only so much illusions and creeps can do. Are they going to defend this? No they cannot. All top tower falls, middle range barracks falls, scandal doing big damage with the searing arrows and strafe. The time to go is now, while well, you have glyph, the time to go is now, okay. Dirge pops everything, okay, drops his tombstone, drops everything, but he's still copying big damage. Oh, Black Hole comes in, catches three wall eater was being held on by his feed script because of it does go through BKB, Gyrocopter will fall, Aegis will pop, Dual Breath goes out, trying to bring down Scandal a bit, but he is in BKB, so he's fine. Ghost Scepter, no, Ghost Walk, no, Ghost Scepter. How low is Bounty Hunter right now? He's dead. That's how low he is. Let's look at this. Instant sentry ward. Casual. Goes off on no one. They can't really take this because Bunny and the bot back. The entire team is up. They cannot go on this. Uh, they are only. They are, will. They will be playing three v five. And if they stayed any longer, they will be playing one v five. And Gyro just walks out, leaving Bane and Scandal to die. Keep forgetting SS. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go, we're trying to push mid a bit, trying to give a bit of momentum against these mega melee and mega range creeps. What hat? <laughs> Seriously, what hat? Sells so his magic wand. Uh, should be going for MKB now, I assume. But kills a few more creeps. 700 health. It's a lot of HP. Of course, there are neutral creeps bigger. Uh, Centaur Khan. Wherever that is. Oh no, he picks up his. Oh no, he already has Crystalis. He sold it so he could make space for the Crystalis. That's very nice. He eats it. And then go, go on him. Just look at that damage, man. Go Scepter, just in case. Can't go on them. He was porting out. He has no mini stun. He is going for the. Uh, Daedalus. That's an interesting. I wonder why they named it Daedalus. Because you know, Daedalus is the name of the the Greek inventor, right? Who helped the Athenian uh, princess to find a way to defeat the Minotaur. Yeah, I am being very brief on this uh, minor Greek history lesson. I far catches one, just at the very edge. Here we go, can they push uphill? Yes they can, as we have clearly seen from mid and top. Are they going to push uphill? No they are not, yes they are! Blink goes, uh, Invoker blinks down! Oh my gosh, Eritus is just a giant clusterfuck. Jakiro and Invoker immediately fall, but they immediately buy back. Scandal taking big damage from the tower, not really. Just standing there pointing and shooting at that thing. Ice Path will go, will go, will go and misses everyone. Uh, Funnick will pick up the gem. One big void and decay. Suddenly everyone is dead. Suddenly. Oh, not dead. Yes, dead. Big dead. Everyone dead. No pops got strength because Enfeeble has gone off. He just has to wait for Enfeeble to go to to disappear. As there's no way to get rid of Enfeeble now, other than you know dying. Um. Suddenly, bot Rex gone. Now they just got a fountain farm. Oh, 
immediately gets cancelled by the silence and Enigma 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 falls to giant copter's flat cannon. Oh big damage! Uh, but he dies. It's quite sad. It's quite sad and I believe this is GG. A scanner can just walk up there. Do 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 boom dies. This is GG. There's no way Kaiki can come back from this. As I say that suddenly. <sighs> My gosh, Bane has a blade mail. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Marco Pio <laughs> blink into his doom. Silence suddenly falls again. GG! There we go, our man calls GG. Oh man, this was a good game. This was a good game. Password, one minute. GG. Wonderful. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Cloud Jack. I am a Singaporean commentator. I do have a messed up accent. Thank you all for watching. My first of hopefully many commentaries to come. Uh, we just very quickly wait for the uh, end game screen. Dire victory. Alright, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time, whenever the heck that is. Alright, bye bye.